生きたいのです。私は。何のために生きてるんだろう喋ることも手を動かすことも自分の思うままにはいかなくなりますえ私も裏若き乙女としてはいろいろ予定があるんですけどベストセラー作品「1リットルの涙待望の映画化」発病から10年不知の病と戦い懸命に生きた少女の記録皆さんの背伸びされたと言われてると思います日一日一日と確実に体を蝕んでいく病魔突然の出来事に苦悩し涙する日々私はっきり言ってどういう病気。It's a very sad disease where over time you lose the ability to move your muscle and all of your organs fail. 立つことも歩くこともできなくなる日が来るかもしれないな。生きている喜びと感動を不自由な体の力を振り絞って日記に記した彼女。それは自分が生きた証し。彼女が生きた証し。映画「1リットルの涙」一生今夜は私が見
This is one of the best live performance that I've seen in recent years. This is so intense and epic. Yeah, and I feel like the performance is also like really powerful around him, something like that. I mean, the musician and everyone, and like the way that they create, like it look like um, how how do I say like OST? Like we are watching the show at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of like a that. spiritual meaning to out your opposition and musician and everything. Yeah. yeah. Come on. An audience. Wow! Imagine if you grew up listening to that show. Every time, sometimes when I watch a TV show, I always watch the end because I I cannot handle if like uh, someone die in the end. Yes, she like loves to watch the end of a show, so she get emotionally ready when she go to the beginning <laughs> and watch. She know what's going to happen. If not, her heart cannot take it. Yeah. So us watching that is like watching the end first in yeah. a way because we know so we don't have all the emotional build up that would lead us to like be in tears. Yeah. Like a lot of you probably are right now because I can feel how emotional this was uh, even though I didn't know anything about this group or the TV show before. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the amazing suggestion. Thank you for watching everyone and see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.